Hi guys and welcome to TechBase. In this video we're going to talk about yet another build in the Canary channel which is for the temporary version 26H1. As I've said this is a Windows 11 version that Microsoft is using to test it on some new devices that are going to be released with of course a lot of new AI platforms and features and this is what the Canary channel is right now. In this video we are talking about the build 28000.1340 as you can see version 26H1. So in this Canary channel branch we're builds Microsoft is pretty much just shaping up the platform most likely for the major release of next year 26h2 and there are not any new particular features just features that are making their way into this canary channel so if you enjoy videos like these please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one and with those things being said let's continue with the video and of course this update is a security update so it'll improve also a small set of general improvements and fixes. For example, this update will begin to enable some more of the new features and improvements that were originally released with the October non-security preview update for Windows 11, both the version 24H2 and 25H2, and we're going to talk about those in just a second. Also, the admin protection feature inside Windows Security is temporarily disabled for insiders in the Canary channel, and Microsoft will enable it at a later date. Now, talking about some new features that are making their way into the Canary channel, for example, you may start to see the new files recommended section that now works with local files as spotted by phantom over on twitter or x.com there are also improvements to emojis that are rolling out to the canary channel some new changes related to the settings app for example inside the advanced settings page this is now rolling out to the canary channel as well also the account section has seen a few changes compared to the previous canary build and also some new options were moved from the old control panel to the new settings app related to the high contrast themes there are also a few improvements related to voice access for for example, the Japanese support and also the wait time before acting command. Of course, all of these features were already present in 24H2 or 25H2, but of course, Microsoft, as I've said, is shaping up the platform for the next major update of Windows 11, and of course, releasing it first were new devices that are going to be released early next year. We also have a fix in this build related to storage. They fix an issue which could cause some storage spaces to become inaccessible or storage spaces direct to fail when creating a storage cluster. Now, at the end, and of course, a quick reminder related to the Canary channel. The builds that Microsoft releases in the Canary channel represent the latest platform changes early in the development cycle and should not be seen as matched to any specific release of Windows. Of course, for additional information, you can check out the article below or the official Microsoft blog post related to this build or the Canary channel in general. So if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.